time for another unboxing. There's no box. Eventually, uh, we keep doing these. Uh, well, those are packages. Close enough. I'm not gonna say unpackaging because it sounds like a package. But two of them are, and if I say unpackaging, it sounds like we're talking about whipping my dick out, and nobody wants to see that. Yeah. They might. They do. You guys, you guys probably do, huh? Mm. He doesn't fucking know. Okay. Um, we're gonna do these long. If we keep doing these unboxings long enough. Maybe you guys could like do an unboxing of me after I die. Huh. We're not me. going to your grave. It'd be pretty yeah. cool. No. It'd be pretty badass. I'll be laying there in my casket like this. <laughs> Alright, let's let's get to it. Okay, first one first one's first. This is from Michael. And he is in Michigan. Or as anybody who's not a fan of the Wolverine says, meat chicken. Get it? Because it's Michigan and we say meat chicken because we're fucking hilariously. We don't meat. get it. Yeah, well, we knew that. Uh, all right. Oh, typed up. See, that's why I have to. I have to type up everything, every letter I send because my handwriting is so abysmal. Real. Tears. D tears. First fucking word, and I blew it. Dear Spaz Man and Spaz Kid, I'm glad that you enjoyed my previous letter. Just remember, those cards are for Spaz Man, so Spaz Kid, keep your mitts off them. Sarcasm. Damn it. <laughs> As I said before, I only like regular Naruto. Shippuden was a shitty sequel series that made the series, as a whole, practically turn 180. Character motivations that make no sense, learn no character growth, evolution, pointless filler, characters characters did but come back to life, characters making dumbass decisions, and many couples that people sh ship not getting together. I mean, how could this series fuck up so badly? I thought this was Naruto, not Dragon Ball. Oh, oh. slap at Dragon Ball. Oh, oh, oh. there's going to be comments in here about this letter. <laughs> and don't even get me started on Baruto. It's a bastardization of the whole series, especially since the main character is a selfish prick you just want to choke. <laughs> Oh, no, it's not me. It's selfish little prick you just want to choke. Because if little hadn't been in there, it was yeah. kind of like describing me. Um, I hope you check out my Naruto Jishin on Facebook. You can tell me what you want to see in the series. It's meant to be a series made by fans for fans. I hope you check it out. It's cool that you are a big Disney fan. I don't care for modern Disney, but anything before 2010 I love. One of my favorite Disney films is Atlantis, The Lost Empire from 2001. Wow, I remember that one. An incredible film starring Michael J. Fox, an adventure that blends Indiana Jones with 20,000 Leagues Under the Seas. If you haven't seen it, stop reading this letter and go watch this on Netflix now. See it before they take it down again. I saw it, but I think it was back around 2001. Yeah. So, and sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Sometimes I forget things. No. No. Shh. Like I said before, I love wrestling, but took a break since Vince has his head so far up his ass. Yeah, and even more than Vince, I think it's Stephanie because she's, I guess she's in charge of the writing, and it's terrible. My three favorite wrestlers of all time are Hulk Hogan, Macho Man Randy Savage, and Ultimate Warrior. I really wish we could have gotten Goldberg versus Ryback, as well as Batista versus Brock Lesnar, uh, the animal versus the beast. I hope Vince steps down and lets Shane take over since Shane clearly knows how to run a business. Yeah, I think it's a good hands if Shane stays on. That one video of mine, the top 20 ship list, is now available, so just go to my channel, McShork, to watch it. Leave a comment if you liked it. One last thing, there's a video that you and Spess Kid need to react to. It's called Skellington's Revenge. I might have that on a list. It's the greatest YouTube poop of all time. It features many cartoon and video game characters and edits it all together so perfectly. It's so funny you'd want to watch it a hundred more times. Please react to it. Hope everything goes well for you guys. Don't chat again. Mick Shark. Very nice letter. Thank you. I think I think Skellington's Revenge. I'll have to double check our I've got so many different lists. I know you wouldn't. But I mean, I have so many different lists of different videos we're going to react to. But it, the title's very familiar, so I, I may have that on there. I'll have to look. But thank you very much for the letter. I appreciate it. Pretty harsh slap at Dragon Ball in there. Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, Damn. Let's go wild. Okay, let's do... I think I know... Big one or small one? Let's do this one for a second. Wait a second. Let me feel the... Let me feel it. Uh, now, does this... No, let's do this one first. Okay, this one... These are um, drop ships, of course, from Amazon. But I think I know what this one is. I'll tell you guys when we, when we open it. I mean, not specifically what it is. Generally what it is. Um, so let's go to this one next. Hopefully it's got a letter inside. Oh, get the uh, fuck out. That's uh, awesome. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me read this first. Uh, uh, oh, hi, Spaz. Enjoy your gift. I really love your channel. Is making a day better? From uh, I'm just going to use first name. Nathaniel. Thank you, Nathaniel. Now, what he sent was cyanide and happiness in book form. Now, you guys, I don't even think huh. I've ever mentioned this. I have, 
I am a huge cartoon fan, and even going back to the days of the funnies and the comic books. So I have like, God, probably at least 30 or 40 editions of Garfield oh, from yeah. the old days when they would put, you know, they would take a bunch of the strips from the paper and put them together into books. I have tons of them. I have tons of Dilbert. I have tons of old Peanuts ones all S stored away somewhere. I've always been a huge fan of these type of compilation books. So this, you couldn't. Couldn't have done better than something like this. I love these to this day. I, I can tell you the truth. Most of them I've had, I've read several times over. If you go in my bathroom right now, and even in this day of high technology, if you pull open the drawer that sits you know, the upstairs yeah, yeah, bathroom yeah. here, pull open the drawer, you, you will find a book of this style in there because sometimes as an old man takes me a while to get out of there and I read some Dilbert. But now... Oh yeah, I will be reading Cyanide and Happiness. That is awesome. That's, That's really it, cool. it's it's so cool, um, especially something like this where you guys can hit something that is so dead on to our interests without me ever having stated that. But thank you, Nathaniel. That will will certainly not go to waste. I'll be reading that. Um, this one, I believe, I think this is from Jeremiah. You guys all know Jeremiah. He's a regular channel. He he gives us a lot of. The, some of the best recommendations we've had. And we were doing a live stream once. Oh, I think it was uh, Kahoot. Yeah. And he, was, and he said something about if somebody gets them all, he was going to send a shirt to Spaz Kid. And I believe this is it. So you get to do an unboxing, because I'm pretty sure this is the oh, shirt Jeremiah said. Yeah. Again, it's a drop ship, so we don't have a specific... Aye, uh. Just don't cut the shirt, please. Aye, uh. Don't cut the shit. Yeah. This is going to be yeah. good. I'm going to read Sign and Happy. You just do your thing. I'm going to read this. Yeah. Dedicated to Jeff or Jeff. It's a genius for Victor. Oh, this, this is going to be awesome. Hiya. Yeah. I got elbowed. It's taken 27 minutes to Damn do it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Jeremiah. Well, he didn't package it, but at least he, he picked the packaging that will frustrate you further. So make sure you didn't. There's nothing in here? Okay. Uh, so guys, yeah, how, how's it been? How's your day been going? Um, really? Your day's been going so bad that you didn't have anything better to do than sit here and watch an almost 18-year-old kid struggle mightily yeah. against standard packaging? Damn it. Oh, I hope tomorrow goes better for you then. Are you, yeah, hold on. Like Are you about <laughs> shitting me here or what? <laughs> do, you, do you think this is vacuum sealed to where it can never be opened? First of all, you're cutting at the wrong... The wrong point. No, that's not the right point. No, you cut it at the seam if you're going to cut it. Or you stretch the plastic a little. Well, I guess it seems that you way. You put your finger in there and you do that. I don't get it. You're magic. <laughs> you put your finger in there. <laughs> I just wanted to be able to say that. Oh, no, wait. What the hell is this? Come on. Huh? This is good. Oh, you're going you're gonna to compete like with me. You. Bruh. What the hell? <laughs> oh, you got Saiyan armor too. It's not Saiyan armor. It's it's not, I, well, I'm folding. I can see. Oh, it's a gi, actually. A little torn up gi. That's badass. Holy shit, that is cool. That, now, there was nothing in. They didn't put anything in. Fortunately, we know it's oh, from man. Jeremiah. So. Yeah, but I'm, I'm positive this is from Jeremiah, you guys. All right, you can go off camera if you want. Put it on. You got to bring it back. Put it, wear it on camera. Oh, jeez. The Spaz, Spaz kid still um, ha, has a life and stuff. Me, you guys know, I'll fucking rip off my fat ass. I'll rip off my pants. I'll take off anything. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, Let the we fat know. fall where it may. I don't give a shit. Hurry up because you can't leave me alone with sharp. This fucking thing's got a sharp point to it. I mean, this hurts. Just to, that little bit of poke. Yeah. Hurts quite a bit. You guys want me to gig? That's badass right there. Show us on the camera, dude. That is pretty freaking cool. Oh, Jeremiah, that's awesome. I like it. You like it? Yeah, it's nice. It's got that compression. Oh, that that that's some great stuff. You guys. I'm cool now. You guys go. Yeah, you finally got there. Better than you. <laughs> I got Saiyan armor, bitch. I got Goku's gear. We're gonna, you know, <laughs> We're okay, gonna no, wait a second. Fight. You guys realize that someday him and I are going out with me wearing the um, Saiyan armor I got and him wearing this. Yep. It, I mean, we better be right. You're, fortunately for me, Spaz Kid's not a fighter. He doesn't like confrontation. 
fortunately, unfortunately for other people, I do. Yep. So I think us going out together is going to, uh, in those outfits, will create somebody to say something to us where I get to punch somebody in the fucking face. So that's going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is going to be cool. I like it. Oh, God. Ah, yeah. It doesn't work like that. Oh, yours is an armor. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's just a gee. Ah, yeah. right. That probably hurts every time I do <laughs> yes. that shit. I stabbed mine. How about yours? No. No? No. No. Test no. Yours? Oh, all right. Guys, thank you. You guys are way too good to us. And uh, any further testing I do, I do off camera. Don't you even think, don't you protect it with that. <laughs> I'll just throw this and let it land in your crotch. <laughs> Win.